Hey, Topoluku, Thomas here, back at it with another episode of StarCraft II Wings of Liberty Brutal Edition. We uh, Last we left off, we finished Zero Hour, escaping from Marsara with Rainer's Raiders, coming here to the Hyperion. Uh, we talked with everyone, we chose an upgrade at the Armory, and now we will be continuing with Episode 3, our fourth mission. Uh, Checking them out here at the star map. What's our general status, Matt? We've picked up a distress call from the planet Agria. There's a colony there under attack by the Zerg. Your convict buddy Tychus lined up a mission retrieving another artifact. It's on a Protoss shrine world called Monolith. So, as stated in the previous video, um, this campaign is modular. So we get to choose between different missions. Sometimes there will only be one choice, sometimes two. Sometimes I think the max can be four, depending upon how we choose. And these missions lead to other missions. Uh, I won't get too much into detail right now, but if you do have trouble with achievements, choosing certain missions and then saving and maybe playing them on a lower difficulty, will allow you to get upgrades so that you can complete missions you have trouble with at a later date with more units, more research, so on and so forth. That is your best tool. Later campaigns have the Master's Archive where they just give you all the upgrades via the Master's Archive so you're always basically at max level, max upgrades that you could be. Uh, this came out before that and I think because it lacked it, a lot of people criticize it and the new versions do have that but not 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 wings of liberty so we are going to be not attempting any achievements we're just going to play through it i will be choosing monolith monolith was abandoned centuries ago and little is known about the few protoss who choose to remain there these tall to ream and their ancient shrines still remain a mystery to terran researchers the mobius boys think there's another artifact in a world called monolith supposedly there's protoss gotten it a group of fanatics Call themselves the Taldarim. Now don't get all sentimental thinking these Taldarim are your old Protoss buddies. Because they ain't. No, they are not. It's kind of interesting is that in Wings of Liberty, the Taldarim basically just have basic Protoss units. And later on in Legacy of the Void, they're their own faction with their own units. And that was not developed yet, which is you know a little bit of a shame. I, I think they're probably like modded versions where they actually have the Taldarim units. We'll be getting a, a lot of money and the Marauder, a heavy assault infantry, which is used in multiplayer, will be very useful for our arsenal. And this money will be very useful for our medic upgrades. So let's get going. There it is, Jimmy. Just like Mobius said. Easy money. I don't know. There's a lot of Protoss down there. We're gonna have to. What the? Warning. Multiple Zerg biosignatures detected. Ah, oh, hell. Them critters were just hiding on the ground, waiting? No idea, but you can bet they're headed straight for our shrine. Well, that show complicates things. We can't fight two armies at once, partner. With any luck, we won't have to. We only need to hold the area at the top of the shrine long enough to extract the artifact. So we'll land here and cut our way through the Protoss lines while they're busy with the Zerg. It's only a matter of time before the Zerg overwhelm the Protoss. We'd best grab the artifact and be long gone by then. Alright, smash and grab. As you can see here, the Stark have given slight tips. Building a second barracks does help quite a bit. Actually, the first thing we want to do is we want to get a second medic in case they try to snipe our first one. Getting a second. SCV ready. We need to get our economy up and running quick. The Zerg severely outnumber the Protoss forces. It is likely the Protoss will fall shortly. Well, here's the plan. Then we've got to get that artifact before the Zerg overrun the whole place. Arm, you gonna give me- Is it critical? Warning, Protoss stalkers are gathering at our perimeter. Incoming transmission. 
I got something new for you, cowboy. Marauders, the latest word in Big Bada Boom so hardware. We can start, yes, we can start one sure more. sure this is the best time to be experimenting, Swan? Best time there is. Let the Marauders loose against those stalkers and you'll see. Better be good. Let's try the to position SCB them. Awesome. Got it. See, they do try to snipe the medics, but just having one would lead to it being killed very quickly. Uh, I do believe the achievement on hard is completing the mission in under 15 minutes. I could be incorrect regarding that. Let's see, they'll finish in 15 seconds, I'll finish in 13. We will be supply box for a little bit. Marauder here. 100 HP. Additional supply depots yeah, required. Slightly supply box, unfortunately. What's going on? Well, we are gonna get Vespin gas as quick as we can because we do uh -huh. want upgrades uh, pronto. Ready. I think that's actually the next thing we're gonna build once we have enough money to upgrades. Not enough. We're need a hundred Vespin gas. I think that is what we will be spending on first. We'll get Marines and SCVs. Not enough minerals. Warning: Incoming Zerg attack wave detected. detected. Been waiting on you. Ready. Oof, well, we lost the I mean, the meta, unfortunately. That's not good. We're gonna get an infantry attack upgrade immediately. I'm gonna try to save for another medic, so I guess an infantry unit while we're waiting. Not enough minerals. Let's see here. A okay, medic after that. What's going on? Another supply depot. There's an artifact right here. We will be a bit cheeky. The command center can fly, so we will be flying our command center over, landing a ASCV there instead of going through the spine crawlers and the cannons that are in the way. Once we get our second and third medic, actually, I think we'll get a marauder. Not enough then minerals. I believe we'll the doctor get is in. A Three more SCVs, something along that line. That should be enough. Start getting Not some more Marines. Minerals. With a second medic, we'll start clearing. SCV ready. Let's back up yes, a little sir. bit. That's the doctor is in. By the Standing by. Get an additional this medic right SCV there. Let's ready. get three, two more SCVs. Good two job, more SCVs. Bro. We will get a bunker. You're the boss. And a missile turret, I believe, would be very useful. You know, park maybe four Marines in there. Not enough minerals. That will hopefully be enough to. Better send some body bags. Oh, that was that was actually that's, this was really bad. <laughs> okay, that was that was not 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 good at all. Not good at all. We are gonna. This better be good. Honestly. I think if I was playing on single player, that would have warranted a restart, but I still think we can salvage it. This does delay us quite a bit. Insufficient we need, we best need a gas. barracks. Pronto. That did free up a bunch of supply, not for a good reason, but it did free up a bunch of supply. Um, we're gonna get a second medic. I think, I think I need to chill. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I have more than Brand enough SCVs. I have more than enough to build with. In. Yep. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna get a third barracks, actually. I believe we can support three. One to pump out marauders and medics. One to pump out marines. And then the, the third in. one will be maybe more marauders and medics. I could get a reactor, but I think we'll be fine. Let's maybe get I can't build a here. supply depot right there. Armed and ready. Huh? And a additional a bunker perhaps. This better be good. Don't let me you want a piece of me, boy. That should be enough to no more, no more. That should be enough to hold out, I think. I am gonna need to start clearing really quick. Hopefully, 
that was really bad with some of those units. Hopefully this will not be a restart. <laughs> well, I mean, you will not find that. I'll just edit it in post. So. That should be enough. I'm gonna need a bunch of marine stats. You're the boss. This better be good. Outstanding. The doctor is in. No response. I believe the show. Yeah, yeah, there they go. Upgrade complete. Not a good time for this. Maybe they can. Ooh, that was bad. That was bad. Very bad. Oh well. I believe we can get one infantry right there. Go, go, go! I think we're actually are gonna get a reactor. In the vain attempt of to stop getting Marines there. Back up, I believe this is enough. Not the end of the world. I think we are fine. Ah, it is going to be a bit dicey, boss, so. unfortunately. Roger that. Let's see there. Armed and ready. We're going to quickly move our. Add on complete. Don't leave me hanging. It's about to get it. And the water is there. Meanwhile, getting the rest of our forces to continue to attack. I think I do have maybe six minutes remaining. Maybe. It is going to be a bit close. Yeah, I think I think I should be okay. I will have to pull the boys. Um, Gangway, coming through. Oh, gonna yeah, give me oh, that was terrible. Ooh, multiple mistakes here. I might have to restart. Gangway, coming through. The doctor is in. Go go go! Just say Go on. Got a whole lot of love. Alright, we're good to go now. We could use some help here. We could use some help there. I think one more medic. A few more marines. Checkpoint has been reached. So if we do royally screw up, Gangway, we can. You want a piece of me, oh, let's get a few SCVs to repair that and then come back. Let's have a Should have gotten a tech lab on this building right here. Who wants some? We are gonna. I think what we're gonna do Armed is we will ready. destroy this. I'm on it. Then swing around here, destroy that. Alright, there we go. We're gonna dive this artifact right here. Maybe unnecessary, but. Get another round of units. I think we are gonna pull the boys. Let's just quickly save in case this fails. Let's play four. Pull the boys. Job, huh? This means we're gonna leave our base completely Armed undefended. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave a token oh, amount of offense. So. We're gonna load that up, raise it up, head on over there. Oh, it's on. Grab the Get rest away. of our units. Ten four. Hopefully this won't be a complete massacre, but oh, yeah. Let's be realistic, it probably will. Attack move right there. Go, go, go. Let's get a few more medics. Few Not more enough marines. minerals. By the numbers, boys. We will unload. Our SCVs are under attack. The you want a piece of me, boys? Our SCVs are under attack. 
base is under attack. There we go, there are the Zerg. Fortunately, we do have an auto turret. Hopefully, the auto turret combined with the. Let's get a few more. Alright, at this point, I think we're just gonna have to do the best. This seems like it'll go okay. We did not get the 15 minute, unfortunately. We are pretty close, though. So, slightly better execution. We had a few major hiccups. This is completely unnecessary, by the way. We do not have to destroy these buildings. Ah. This should be enough. Should work. Rally everyone. Got it. We are gonna be sending the boys right here. What the? There we go. Yeah, this is fine. As you can imagine, with better control, I would have done this in 15 minutes. You know few mistakes here at the start that really slowed us down. That combined with some more upgrades and, you know, getting the achievements for this, this mission. I got a crew coming down difficult. to pick up the artifact. There we go. <laughs> we got what we came for. Let's hightail it out of here. Just dunk. I forgot here how resourceful you were, Jim. I won't make that mistake twice. Ooh, Kerrigan. Kerrigan. Queen of Blades. So yeah, complete the mission on hard, 15 minutes or less. Yeah, I, I kind of screwed the pooch a bit at the start, but you know, once again, <laughs> first attempt. Uh, haven't played these in a while. That's funny, Convict. I don't recall giving you access to our database. Just keeping up on current events, Captain. Seems this Queen of Blades got everybody running scared. <laughs> she don't look so tough. You have no idea who she is, do you, Tychus? Don't matter to me, none. Well, it matters to Jim. They were close once. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're telling me they were shacked up? Apparently she was something else. Before the Zerg took her. Turned her into that. And Jimmy feels responsible. Honestly, if we have to face her again, I don't know what he'll do. Woman like that, there's only one thing to do. I mentioned this in the first part, but very bombastic. Space opera -y, epic, Hollywood-inspired sets, essentially, throughout this. I caught Tychus hacking into our database, sniffing around about Kerrigan. I don't know what his game is. I mean, he but pushed up by hacking. Mad, me and Tychus ran together a long time. Got in all sorts of trouble. When the law finally caught up, he took the rap for both of us. Never once ratted me out. I got a second chance, he got locked up. I understand your loyalty, sir, but... I owe him that. Leave it be. Yes, sir. Ooh, the cantina's been unlocked.
Guess you heard the news by now, Rainer. Looks like you're back in business. That I am, Mr. Hill. And fighting the Zerg and Dominion all at once is gonna take its toll on my standing forces. You got any guns for hire? But you know, the invasion makes it a seller's market right now. Still, your bartender over there makes a hell of a Mai Tai. So, sure, I've got some mercenary contracts you might be interested in. You're all heart, Mr. Hill. So we have unlocked the War Pigs automatically. Four Elite Marines. We can train them three times. There's a primer each time. They have 65% more health, 35% more damage than regular Marines. But they do take the same supply. So mercenaries are super good. They are all good. Maybe not the Devil Dogs quite as much, but every other mercenary is well worth the cost. Um, War Pig mercenaries are well known for both their ruthless, ruthless, <laughs> ruthless combat efficiency as well as their heavy drinking and barroom brawls. Their upgraded equipment and thousands of hours of combat experience make them well worth all the trouble they cause when they are off duty. So we have essentially 12 Super Marines. These are the Hammer Securities and we will be hiring them. First, we do have to double check that we can afford them considering we need some army upgrades so we are not going to get any marauder upgrades yet i believe these apply to the mercenaries by the way so super good we need this medic heal 25 percent more faster and medics use 33 percent less energy heal a very very good upgrade we need this prong though so we will be purchasing this the Stabilizer Med Pack is a new generation of medical nanobot that heals targets more efficiently and can be injected at faster rates. Show your marines that you are truly care by outfitting your medics with Stabilizer Med Packs today. Very good. Uh, we will actually be getting the the hammer securities right now because we cannot okay, afford right any place. of the other upgrades that I really want for the next mission. So. A private security firm based in the Camorian Combine. HSEC provides corporate security and also finds itself at odds with the menu. So, Camorian Combine, we won't hear that much about them. They're basically one of the few other human factions out here in the Kropulu sector. They, along with the Dominion and the Emotions, are basically the three governments that exist. Um, yeah, let's check the arcade out this is lost viking where you play you know one of these i don't really know what like arcade i don't know what the term for these games are where you have a ship flying around and you shoot them i feel a bit uneducated right now uh we will not be playing this it's a huge time sink and i'm terrible at them of all the achievements i have all achievements aside from the achievements associated with lost viking and i will not be getting them at any time soon uh Check out the back. I should really take this down. In case the crew thinks it's cool or something. Mm -hmm. I ain't working. I'm drinking. Thank you for your contribution, Chichinsky. Steady as she goes. <laughs> Sit down before you fall down, amigo. Amigo. We need to get some live entertainment in here. Mm hmm. Jimmy, I thought you liked these. They're the winning entry from the Zerg hunt a few years back. Maybe they'll bring you luck. Joe Ray owner and proprietor of Joe Ray's Bar, Marsara. P.S. I'll add the TV to your tab. Ah, uh, shooting someone else's TV when you're in the bar is probably pretty bad for him, I think. All right, Tychus, what do you have to say? Your Mobius buddies ever happen to mention that the Queen of Blades wants these artifacts too? Hey, they just give me the missions, man. What's it matter anyway? Putting that bitch down would be doing everyone a favor. I thought it was just about the money with you, Tychus. Nothing says I can't do my part for humanity and get paid well for my trouble. Right. I think you'll notice how sharp this character is here and how You're blurry she is here. I think in the right. older versions she was sharper as well. I think it's quite not as PG. Well, it's definitely not PG, but I don't think it's quite as accepted now in modern modern times. So maybe they've 
deliberately made her I thought more blurry? I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> Probably a stupid thing to remark on. Anyway, let's continue with some television. <laughs> this is Donnie Vermillion live from UNN. Tonight, we're going to discuss the infamous Queen of Blades. Scientists and military insiders have long speculated that the enigmatic alien is, in fact, an infested human. That's right, Donnie. Is it possible that the leader of the Zerg has a human heart? More importantly, Kate, could this mean some kind of Terran Zerg alliance is possible? Very hopeful. Donnie, there's never been any evidence at all to suggest that infested humans retain their free will. You make a good point, Kate. The question is then, how do we kill her? That's one I think we all can agree on. If humanity is to survive, the Queen of Blades needs to be eliminated. I mean, with the death toll and the, I think they said billions after Zero Hour, I mean, yikes. I can understand the need to take her out. Let's see what Swan has to say. Gotta hand it to you, Chief. Stealing an artifact out from under the Zerg and the Protoss? You sure, sure go, go big. big. Thank you, Swan. And we have the Marauder. The 5 4 Armored Infantry Ute. <laughs> Infantry Suite. Although the Marauder suit is modified from the CMC 660 Firebat suit, the soldier inside is very different. 47% of the Marauder operators have never even been to Jen. <laughs> so, little known fact the, uh, the Firebat, which we will be acquiring later, almost all of them are prisoners that are forced into this combat suit basically to serve time. So, the glorious Marauder, only 47% of them have been to jail, and only 23% have been accused of murder. So, I'm guessing these are the the goody two shoes versions of the fire bats. The Marauder's gra grenade autoloader is stocked with component parts that allow it to quickly manufacture and load hundreds of standard Punisher grenades. We do not have the fire bat yet, but we can compare them later. Basically, this is a heavy assault unit that does bonus damage to armor, while the fire bat, you know, staple unit in StarCraft 1, does not exist in base game StarCraft 2, but we will be using them in the campaign is basically an anti-light unit. So very good against Zerglings, but not all that good against anything else. Are you all right, sir? Confronting Kerrigan again after all these years. We've got to stop her, Matt. No matter what she's after. Well, we gave her a setback today. The artifacts are obviously important to her. I just wish we knew why. I do think that next mission we will be unlocking the laboratory. Um, I believe just clicking here will not say, yeah, it, it only plays the intro audio about, you know, you have two missions to select the first time. Uh, we will be going to Redstone next, um, but until then, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.